Why, hello all. This is Bloom and Chisa. This is for WandaVision episode 5. And I, I decided to go with an older format that seemed to work a little bit better than usual. Which is a bunch of photos and then I'll tell about an article I loved and my thoughts on episode 5. See well, I hope you guys do like. Hope you guys do. Comment right down below and hope you guys do subscribe. Please do. So, so here we go. With Monica thrown out of Wanda's suburban mind place, she's back in the not so welcoming arms of Sword and the director, Her Howard. While Agent Wu and the Darcy could not be happier to see Monica, the rest of the Sword is more concerned with the massive uh, threat that is Wanda and her puppet town of ghoulish human hostages. Once S.W.O.R.D. comes into play again, we see that the first real feel for what the shape of the show will likely take or look like going forward. These two dueling realities here, which is Wanda's and the world of the MCU that surrounds it, just like last week, Monica is our hero, and a mighty one at that. She's kind of complex, thoughtful, and well drowned female hero that the MCU has awful often struggled with. S Sword director Howard is a suspicious military-type man that has deemed Wanda a terrorist, and although Monica was... With her victim, she she's loath to define the former Avenger in the same terms. The sword rifts sets up a nice comrade between Jimmy, Darcy, and Monica, which will hopefully carry over to the rest of the season. If you were worried about the momentum slipping from the fast-paced adventures of episode 4, you can breathe a sigh of relief to become, because the stories work well with together, meshing the slow-paced with the fast-paced intentionally, uh, crafting something bigger and more expansive than we've seen yet from the MCU universe. We also get our first examples of those dual realities colliding when Monica attempts to fly a drone to connect with Wanda. Sadly, she underestimates just how much MCU agents love med military weapons, and she doesn't realize that the drone is armed. Evil old director Howard tries to shoot Wanda on sight leading to a showdown on the outskirts of Westview, where the Scarlet Witch reveals her full power and plan. This is her home, and anyone she tries to take it away will be punished. Tragic romance between Wanda and Vision is the heart of the namesake series, and we are slowly learning the links that Wanda has to re reunite them. Not only is she potentially puppeteering Vision's creepy dead corpse around, but she violently raided a sword facility to get it. Now the two are playing a game of cat and mouse, and Vision tries to uncover Wanda's plans in one of the creepiest sequences, freeing Norm from Wanda's mind prison. And she tries to keep her living paradise secure. The question of Wanda's control comes into play once again as the episode comes to a close with a huge twist. For months, rumors have pre persisted that Evan Peters would be joining WandaVision. It turns out those rumors were true. As Vision finally faces Wanda and tries to demand accountability for her actions, the pair is interrupted by a doorbell. Wanda promises that it's not her doing, but Vision can't quite believe her, and who can blame him? But the biggest secret of who's behind the door? And of course, it's Peters. 
a laugh out loud moment. Dennings delivers what has surely become a historic MCU line, which is she recast Pietro. That is, she did, or at least someone did, because when Wanda opens the door, Peters is there in an 80s sitcom approximation for his Fox X-Men Quicksilver garb. So what's what so what's the truth? Has Wanda manifested her brother from another reality? After all, she does give a, bit, a big speech today about how she can't bring people back from the dead even if she wants to. Or is someone else pulling the strings? Wanda was telling Vision that she did not know how any of this started just before the pair were interrupted. So could Pietro be nothing more than a distraction? Now there was the kids. They kept growing erratically, but on purpose, it seems like. They went from a young age to teenage years. Garris has came out already, where we know one thing, though. Disney has officially crossed the streamers with their actually recently acquired Fox X-Men universe, and things in the MCU will never be the same. Um, I loved that article. I got a little bit more to talk about. They had... A dog that was great in the movie. It had an instance where the dog died because it ate the flowers. Uh, certain flowers, I guess. That's fine. And they had moments in this series of this episode that perplexed me a lot because it made me think of how much running this show has um that this last moment that photo is just so creepy because he got taken over his mind got taken over and how would you show that is not that is not happening because it is it's going to be something in Wanda's timeline in Wanda's world that is going to have to stop so how'd you guys like that? That was pretty interesting of an episode, I have to say. Um, I agree with, with the way that uh, Marvel Universe is going. It does set up for later episodes to be not always action, action-y uh, based. It doesn't need to be action-y based, really. It just needs to have an underlying tone that it can maybe coincide with other sh- ep- with other series. Um, now that they got also X-Men people playing in the MCU universe, it's kind of confusing. It it it, it crossed a lot of dividing lines that I didn't think could be possible. But I guess it could be now. They are officially somehow in the same universe now. How is that possible? I, it really confused me because Petro was that other dude. And then they didn't recast him. They had someone else come. Um, I don't know. That last bit on that, this last episode threw me off and, like, put a wrench in my gears. I guess you could call it. It kind of... I don't know. It doesn't sit well with me on how they ended that last episode. And... Um, hopefully I will be looking forward towards the next episode. I will. Don't worry. Um, hope you guys have a great night. Please do like it. 
please do comment right down there. I need all these comments to make these videos better. Please do subscribe. Subscribing helps. Bloomin' Cheese out of here.